Have you made it, sir? The presidential compound is on the other side of the city. Keep your head down! The turnoids are crawling all over the place! Triangle to cycle through the last three weapons you have equipped. just landed. They're attacking the compound from the other side. We could sure use your help. You got it. Follow me to the dropship.
This weapon upgrade features a lock-on mod. To lock on to enemies, press and hold L2 and R2. Area secure. Nice work, ladies. Let's move out.
give those noids a taste of their own medicine! The noids have launched an all-out assault! We need those air defenses online yesterday! Enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear blue. Mission objectives appear green. Those turrets can only target it. You'll need to handle the ground troops yourself. Agent Clank? <laughs> You're even more impressive in person than you are on the holovid. And I must say, I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do, son. Who says you can't find good help these days, right, Clank? <laughs> Sasha's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, kid. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? He has lost his memory, sir. Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... The city's laser shield went down during the attack. Now, we are defenseless without it. I sent out a repairman to fix it, but, but he disappeared. I need you to get that shield system back online. Yes, sir. We're on it.
There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol and then zap it with the laser. It's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating. What the? That's a Quark vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypassed the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogrammed a graphic subprocessor. No, no. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, clank. You speak, uh, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check thumb on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what happened to be with it. May we borrow this vid comic? Treat it gently. It is a first edition. Perhaps this will help restore Quark's memory. Shield power restored. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. 
In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <coughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Just picked up an officially licensed Quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. Bling bling, baby. The red ones are worth 10 Quark tokens. Precision aiming.
giant robotic space eel haunts this ship. <laughs> what a bunch of... <laughs> Juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Uh, yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, <coughs> right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. of devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. 
Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean contestant, Fred. Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he wants at a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. Meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet. Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the death course. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. Hey, be sure to catch me next week at the Florana Demolition Derby. Look at those greedy little eyes. He's got that thousand yard stare. To strafe, hold down L2 or R2 while running.
He's lighting it up like a Christmas tree! Sasha, that is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this, but the President put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. 